Hello everyone, I'm Soporific, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are starting a new series on... I don't know my controller's bugging out. We're starting a new series on... Sonic Colors for the Nintendo Wii. Now that we're done with that intro, I can turn on my mic and start talking again. So, just a little quick uh, disclaimer before we start. I'm just going to let you guys know, there are a lot of cutscenes in this game. So what I'm going to do when the cutscenes play is I'm going to mute my mic. So anytime you hear a click after the cutscenes are over, that's me turning on my mic back to talk. Also, another thing, I have a fan going on upstairs and it's kind of super loud. So I don't even know if it's going to be coming through all the way downstairs from where I'm recording. So hopefully that won't interfere as much. But yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the new gameplay series that I'm doing on Sonic Colors. I remember last time after I finished the Donkey Kong series, I said I was maybe going to do a, a gameplay on Sonic Colors, and I decided to. Because why not? Did some Mario, now it's time for Sonic. Woo! I think this is one of like, the first games where they just start you in. The opening doesn't count, but I think it's one of the first games where they start you in without like a, a cutscene. Or maybe like one of the first Sonic games, I should say in a long time because this was made back in like 2010 it's still one of my favorite 2010 games Ooh. yeah Sonic's gameplay is just super fun and this is probably one of my favorite 3D Sonic games in a while now here comes a part that I I, I didn't really enjoy of the game I don't really find as entertaining in the game as I do. Wait, hold on. I'm spamming here. Ooh, I didn't even get an amazing. But yeah. It's basically, you're just going super fast and trying to get through level as fast as I can while just zooming through all these beautiful uh, backgrounds and stuff. And I enjoy it very much. I'm sorry if I'm going to be everywhere with the gameplay if I'm talking about one thing and then I start talking about another thing. But, yeah. He has a lot. When it comes to 3D Sonic, Okay, there we go, I have to finish that. But when it comes to 3 Sonic, I think this is like my favorite style of Sonic in general. I don't really like uh, 2D Sonic like uh, like the old games, like Sonic uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, Sonic Mania and stuff like that. 3 really, Sonic is just my cup of tea. And we're just done with the first level. And what you can do here on this screen is that you can uh, keep uh, just boosting past the letters. And then if you destroy them, they'll give you some like coins and some lives if you can do it. But you have to do it at a certain point because oh there we go we got the life. At a certain point it just stops you. It's not as opposed and it can't move. We got a B so that's pretty good. Ooh, it's right to Act Two. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting a cutscene, but whoever. Here we go, and now we're in the 2D section. This is like I'm gonna say it again, but this is like the one part I don't like about 3D Sonic games. It's called 3D for a reason. So when you get 2D sections like this, because I guess the developers can uh, find a way to incorporate 3D again. It kind of sucks, but whatever. 2D sections kind of look cool, but 3D is just more fun. So let's come up here. Ooh. OK, 
Okay, keep going. Gotta finish as fast as we can. Ooh. And the boost in this game, it attracts coins to you, so you don't have to be on, like directly on top of the coins. Just look how beautiful this game is. This came out 2010 on the Nintendo Wii. So, just imagine this game with a HD remake. That's like one of the things I love that Sega can do. <sighs> we can only hope. You know, actually this year, uh, we're supposed to be getting a new Sonic game. For those watching, just to let you know, I'm recording this in like January. So, um, if you're probably wondering why, uh... Hold on, let me get these guys. Uh, they don't give me anything, so I'll just boost passing. If you're wondering why I'm not mentioning anything about this... Oh, uh, what? I did a homing attack, how did I die? Okay, well, that was weird. But if you're wondering if I'm not mentioning any uh, news about Sonic recently, if there even is one by the time this comes out, uh, you know why. Also, you're probably wondering why I had to wait so long to uh, post this. Eh. Don't explain. Don't ask. Let's just get this out the way. I can't believe we died there. I did a, clearly did a homing attack, and I somehow got hurt. So that's the first li live loss. I don't think we're gonna have to do this every single time this does, although it's super tempting, but I just, I don't know, try to do this for, uh, to see if I can get an extra life. I don't think we're gonna die as much as on this game, like, unlike Donkey Kong, because Donkey Kong was, like, super hard. Get the life before? Okay, there we go, we got it. We got the life back that we lost. Oh, cutscene. He loves to hear his own lips flap, but I gotta hand it to the eggster. This place is epic. Everyone and their brother is gonna want to come here. No doubt, but now I'm not sure why we're here. This place looks totally harmless. Because Eggman plus secretly built amusement park equals evil plot for us to foil. Lucky for us, he's not very good at keeping things hidden. True, it would be pretty hard to miss a giant floating space amusement park surrounded by planets. Still, an evil plot? I don't know. Wow! Plot or not, you can't be mad at this view. This place has taken beauty to the next level. I'm just surprised that it was so easy to sneak in here. Uh, I wouldn't say it was that easy. Hello, happy people! Buckle up as Eggman's ultra-accelerating space elevator whisks you to an interplanetary wonderland of fun! I can't believe somebody was dumb enough to leave the keys in this thing. It's like Eggman's begging us to sneak in and trash the place. Oh man, this thing's got crazy fast acceleration. <laughs> you call this fast? This amusement park has been constructed entirely out of a sense of remorse for my past transgressions and is in no way associated with any sort of evil plot or premeditated misdeeds. Well, that's a relief. about it makes my head feel like it wants to huh? your voice chip is stuck on cowboy again stop talking and let those aliens I'm not sure what's going on but I'm sure of what I'm gonna do. Huh? Hey, what's going on? Huh? Whoa! And that's that. Now we have a little save uh, data here. I don't even care what my name is, it's just gonna be our save file. <laughs> it's gonna be named Chaos, and I guess I'll just pick Sonic just because. This is our save file, Chaos with a uh, Sonic profile picture. Now here's the world map. Complete two levels, you got a cutscene, and here's the world map. No, I said world map. The world map. So we're currently here, which is Tropical Resort, and we have all these other worlds. So each uh, part, we're gonna be completing a world, like we always do for most games. We got a B, we got a C, and onto the third level of Tropical Resort. Now, just watching that, oh my gosh. I'm sorry, but it's still breathtaking on just how beautiful this game still holds up to today. I still think it looks great. I'm just praying that Sega just hopefully just one day just decides to, I don't know, re, re uh, rehash, if that's the right word. 
Remaster. I know, not rehash. Remaster. Hold on, we have the, our first power up here, so we shake our controller. And here's just the look at the first power up. So, this game was the first introduction of the Wisp aliens. I'm not really good on lore when it comes to Sonic, but I do know a good, a good considerable amount. But, uh, ooh, that was close. But yeah, this was the first introduction to the Wisps, which are uh, these little aliens that give Sonic power ups. And one thing that I have a problem with is like, uh, on older games, there's a white Wisp that you're gonna get that, uh, gives Sonic the ability to boost. Which didn't make sense to me, because how come in other games he had no problem boosting? Like, like Rings gave him the power to boost. Hold on. Yep, that's what I thought. Rings gave him the power to boost, but now we have to rely on an alien to boost, which is kind of weird to me. I don't know. But, I'm not gonna question it. Can't change it. Oh, that's fast enough to see. I had to duck there. Boom, boom, boom. Let's keep going. Yeah, he has a double jump in this game, but it doesn't give you... Yeah, you see these white wisps right here? These are the wisps that, uh, like, fills your uh, boost meter. Okay. We don't need all those coins. Doesn't matter how many coins... As long as we have one coin, we'll be good, because it doesn't matter how many coins we have. We get hit once we lose all of them, so I'm not gonna waste my time getting them. There we go. Got another checkpoint. Jump up here. We have another uh, laser power up. Oh, get these guys out of the way. We have another laser power up. I'm not sure if something will come up for for me to use it. Oh, could have hit them right there. I oh, can't get that trampoline. That spring, I should say. Okay, come up here. Whoa. Okay. Come up here. Let's get this guy. Yeah, this is like one of my, uh, whoa, the spikes on the gummy. This is like one of my top three favorite, uh, Sonic games, 3D Sonic games, I should say. Okay. Oh, I see the laser thing, so let's shake and aim straight for that. Where's it gonna take us? Got a little shortcut, and we're up here now. we close to the end. Okay, zip line, and there it is, the ring. So to end a level, we have to go through a ring, and for some levels, you have to open like a little wisp capsule. Oh, we got an A. When we get an A, we get a free life off the bat. And I'm pretty sure if we get an S. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to skip. I wasn't ready. Now that we got the laser power up, it's gonna be all over the world. So, all the capsules with the laser the wisps will appear available to us and in all worlds. Now to Act Four. Also, another thing: the music in this game is great as always. If there's one thing I can applaud Sega for, it's just the, the amazing uh, the amazing music they have in their games. Like, Nintendo has great music too. I mean, Nintendo has great games in general. It's like they be dropping bangers after bangers. But when it comes to music, it's great too. But when it comes to Sega, they be question dropping some questionable games. But then when it comes to music, they can knock it out of the park. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. Okay, we gotta... Get this guy out the way before he starts to... Uh, well, we can't even get him out the way because we can't even kill him, I don't think so. But we gotta... Ah, there we go. We gotta use these balloons to get up here. There we... Whoa! The level's done already? Oh, okay. Well, I forgot how short these levels can be. I was not expecting that. Oh, cutscene. Gotta connect the framostatic capacitor to the maximizing modulationizer. I wish I knew what you were saying, little guy, or gal, or whatever you are. Whoa! Oh man, that was crazy! Oh, I was reconfiguring my handheld into a translator so I can understand this guy. Did you go somewhere? Didn't you see? I absorbed those aliens and got powered up with, like, some kind of wild energy. And after a few seconds, they'd pop out of me. Uh, I find that hard to believe. Huh? Okay, seriously? We need to find Eggman and figure out how catching these aliens fits into whatever heinous plan he's hatching. And wreck that plan, right? Yeah, that's pretty much how we spend our time. Okay, that's that. Sorry if I seem all over the place when I'm uh, doing this Let's Play because... The gameplay in this is so fast-paced and action-packed that I'll just be saying one thing and once something happens, I'll be saying another. But yeah, these 2D levels be catching me off guard because they can just be so, so over so quickly. Okay, we gotta use the laser here. So, we're gonna stay right here. We lose it. 
We're gonna aim upward to the corner, try to land the coins right there. Okay, we got it. Nice. Okay, so what I was saying earlier was that this game is like one of my top three favorite Sonic games. I'm gonna tell you guys like my top three favorite Sonic. Oh, I missed it. I'm gonna tell you guys my top three say uh, my top three favorite Sonic games just out of order, which is this game Sonic Colors. There's uh, Sonic Generations and then Sonic Forces. Now, I will be doing a gameplay on Sonic Forces soon, just because it's been like almost four years since the game re released. Like, no November of this year will be like this game's four year anniversary. And a lot of people have mixed emotions of it, and after watching videos on it, I kind of understand why. Oh! I pressed A to jump. He didn't jump. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Okay, let me get up here. After watching reviews on the game, I understand why people don't like it. Like I said, I kept boosting. Keep going, keep going. I understand why people didn't like it, but that game, Sonic Forces, is the game that got me back into Sonic because I used to be like a Nintendo boy because I used to play Nintendo all the time, and then I got introduced to Sonic, and there was Mario and Sonic, and then I got Minecraft. And once I got Minecraft, I just ignored both games until I just got back into playing them. Sonic, not so much, but then one day I decided to get Sonic Forces. Okay, what do I have to do here? Oh, I see. Same up here. Okay, well, that was bad. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Okay, can I go down? Yeah. One of the games I got was Sonic Forces, and I just got it just because, like, I haven't played a Sonic game in a while. Let me get back into it, see if this is good. And then after playing it, it reminded me a lot of Sonic Colors, which I just love the game a lot. So, after that. Ooh, okay. I thought I, I thought I had the laser whisk, but and there was a platform down here. Oh, there's the end. So, after playing Sonic Forces, it got me back into Sonic, and here I am replaying the games, and I can't wait to see what the next Sonic game will be that we're getting this year. Because what what year anniversary is for uh, Sonic? I don't know what year this is. I'll, I'll probably put it, put it in the editing, maybe in the comments or somewhere. But yeah, it's another anniversary for Sonic, and we're getting another 3D game and some other stuff too. So hopefully 2021 will be a great year for Sonic. Keep in mind, remember this is re being recorded in January, so I know this is going to be posted in May. And the reason being because I had a video scheduled like like months before I, I decided to post this so I had to get those out the way and I automatically failed there that was embarrassing yeah these 2d levels be throwing me off how you go like fast in 3d all the way to just you have to be patient Sonic is not patient <gasps> jump okay that was a close one Sonic can you aim please there we go it's like the target only wants to work when it wants to work okay double jump okay there we go I don't really care about red wings red rings there are collectibles in this game we're not going for collectibles, we're just here to beat the story. One, two, three. Oh, this part, this is just annoying. You see how slow this is going? Like, seriously. This Sonic is supposed to be the fast thing on Earth. This gameplay is supposed to be great and fast and everything. And then you have this doing this, just platforming. It's not a Mario game. <sighs> okay, let's keep going. When a new Sonic game comes out, if I do manage to get it, I will be doing a gameplay on it. If it's my type of Sonic game. Because... I like to get a first, my first impression on it. There are 30 Sonic games that I don't like, and one thing for my channel is if I'm playing a game that I won't like, then I'm not going to do a gameplay on it. Alright. If you didn't know, each world has six levels, and when you complete the six levels, there's a boss. So, here we are. 23, 24, 25... Ah, not nearly enough aliens! Want us to get more? No, I want you to get me a cheeseburger and a shake. That'll be easier. Cheeseburgers don't run as fast as them little alien varmints. Idiot. Get me more aliens. Y'all want fries with that? Oh. I reckon that hurt a bit. Wait a minute, I need to go over yonder. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. Precious little aliens. I'll harness their hyper go on power, and then nothing will stop me. I know I say that every time, but this time, really, nothing will stop me. <laughs> Most? What? Sonic! Who are you calling nothing? Huh? He means since the boss said nothing will stop me, and Sonic here is going to stop him, it's like the boss was calling Sonic nothing. Great! I thought nobody would get that. Fine. You're so smart, robot. You take care of this mess. Release the big boy! At least I know he won't screw it up. 
Hasta la bye bye, suckers! <laughs> It's time for me to start stopping. Oh. Ah, get it. A dialogue is just one of this game's strong suits. <laughs> Some people might find it corny, but I find it funny. So we have the first boss here, which is pretty simple. You can just get up here and start uh, going after his eye. You have to uh, home and attack, do a homing attack on his eye. Or if I can reach up there. There's a laser capsule right there, so once we get it, just use laser, and just aim at his eye, and then boom. He's dead, just like that. It's the first roll of the boss, but like seriously, I was expecting more. You just keep boosting around this circle. Get all these coins. Why not? Yeah. If I was just doing regular spin dashes, or like, I should say homing attacks. Not spin dashes. If I was doing regular homing attacks, it would take me like, I don't know, three times to do it. But once you get that, that power up, the wisp. Oh, I got an S! Okay. So as you can see, when I get an S, I get three lives off the bat, and I can get more if I can destroy this stuff in time. Can we get that? Ooh. Ah, we still have to destroy the S for the life, I'm guessing. Since we didn't get it from the numbers. Just this last bolt. Oh, there you are. Where'd you run off to? I did a little shopping, grabbed a bite to eat, and trashed a giant killer robot. Oh, really? And they've got shopping here, too? This place has everything. Hey, so how's your translator thingy coming along? Uh, I think it's done. It's in binary code, so only I can read it. Okay, ask away. <clears throat> Who are you, and what is happening to your people? <laughs> okay, he says his name is Toxalot. And he's from a faraway soda, and where flowers water them with dances. Yeah, uh, I think your machine still has some bugs. Yeah, I think I can figure this out, though. Okay, he said his name is Yacker. He's from a race of beings called Wisps. Wisps? No, Wisps, with a W. Yeah, I'll just stick with aliens if that's okay with everybody. Oh, sure. So anyway, they're either being used for their magical powers by an evil man, or to make underwear to be worn by Sally. Oh. Just to hear save them, save them over and over. When I was running around trashing robots, I saw a map that had a couple of interesting places. I think I'll go check them out, and maybe save some aliens. When you consider what we're doing from a robot's point of view, it's actually pretty brutal. Don't think about it. If you say so. I'm missing an arm. Have you got an arm? No, but really, how much can it matter? I guess it can't matter much. Alright, that's the end of that. And with that, we completed the first world and we unlocked these two worlds. So next time, we are going to be taking on World 2, which is Sweet Sweet Mountain. I already know the name of it because I remember a lot about this game. It's one of my favorite games of all time, right next to Donkey Kong Country Returns. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the, the first episode of Sonic Colors. Hope you guys will enjoy the series as well and stick around. I am so terrific, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.